There are three ways to test Tech Communication Suite 3. Go to the Adobe website, go to the product page, and look for Tech Communication Suite 3. You'll be brought to our product page where you can select Try in the upper right hand corner. You'll be brought to the Three Ways to Try page, and you'll see that you'll have three different choices. First, Test Drive, which is recommended. Trial Download, where you can download a fully functional version of Tech Communication 3 with all its point products that also provides you with a 30-day trial evaluation license. Or what you can do is you can request a free DVD trial, which will take 30 days to be delivered. What we recommend is Test Drive. I'm going to show you that right now. So once you click Test Drive, you'll be brought to the Test Drive system. Here you'll be presented with the five point products that are included within the Tech Communication Suite 3. Today I'm going to show you FrameMaker 10 using the Test Drive system. Now what I'm doing is I am using the internet to run FrameMaker 10 remotely. I'm not installing it on my system, I'm actually running it remotely using test files that are on this system. Let me click on Adobe FrameMaker 10. Left hand side, a list of exercises that you can do. If you're not familiar with FrameMaker, I'd recommend that you actually go through these exercises and you can test frame that way. There's a series of demo files that have been provided to us. If you are familiar with frame, it's going to be very similar to using frame on your client system. So let me just get you around the system itself. I'm going to click on File, Open. We'll be brought to a demo file system area. One of the things that I'm going to show you right now is Ditter and Ditter Maps. So let's click into the subdirectory Ditter and Topics. When I do that, I'm presented with the uh, data maps that have been loaded for us. I'm going to click on the hierarchy .data map, and the data map will open. Now, for those of you who have used FrameMaker in the past, this is going to be a very familiar feeling because it's exactly the way it will be running on your system if you install it locally. The only difference is you don't have to install it locally, and there's demo files left on the system for you to use. So it's going to be exactly the same. Let's just click into one of the uh, tasks and it opens up. We have our uh, stru structured window. All features are, are fully functional. We can create confs. We can do all objects and all attributes that have been associated with FrameMaker and its new functions within the test drive system.